Hello everybody, Tortoise Investing coming at you today with an analysis video of American Tower Corporation. Now if you're new, please hit that subscribe button, drop a like, those two things help out the channel a ton and I greatly appreciate it. And comment down below, do you own any REITs? I'd love to hear from you. Now without further ado, AMT. Now, American Tower Corp is my newest addition to my portfolio, and you might be asking, what did I get rid of? Well, I got rid of Texas Roadhouse. Reason being is I got in, this was this is roughly about what my average cost basis was. I got in around 103, then I bought some more in the 90s, and then this thing is just took off like a rocket. Uh, and since September-ish till now, I had over 47% gain in it. And I wanted to lock that in. Uh, this company's at all-time highs. It had a great earning. It just shot up, and I wanted to take advantage of it. And American Tower Corporation is the opposite. It has dropped almost 15% year-to-date. Uh, reason being is interest rates are going to be higher for longer. So I'm going to take advantage of that weakness and ride this out for the long term. I really, really love this company. Now, if we take a look here, just quarter over quarter, Revenue is just growing like a weed. We got free cash flow also ticking in the right direction. We can look here at the year over year revenue. Over the last 10 years, 12.29%. And that free cash flow over the last 10 years grown at a rate of 7.62%. Now, the another thing that I really love about this company is that dividend growth. Oh my goodness, 19.35% over the last 10 years. What's going on? This REIT's on fire. Well, that's because if you take a look here, uh, they have a history of increasing their dividend every single quarter. Now, they did have one pause, and that was from actually 2022, 2023, from December to April. It was 156, it was still 156, but it was right back at it 157, 162, 170. Now, when it comes to uh, real estate, uh, investment trusts, REITs, uh, you don't look at the EPS. You don't look at the EPS. Uh, they usually carry a lot of debt, so it's not something that you, uh, my general rule of thumb, don't let companies have more than three times their EBITDA in debt. This is a real estate investment trust. This is a different beast. What you want to look at is the funds from operation payout ratio, the FFOPR. We're looking at 65.93%. Usually, real estate investment trusts pay out 90% of their free, uh, of, you know, 90% out for tax benefit purposes. Now, another reason why I really, really like American Tower Corp is it's just so huge. In over 25 different countries across six different continents, as you see here, and uh, they have, uh, they nearly have 225,000 sites, and this is worldwide, as you see here, a little map showing you in some of their locations and um, I think that REITs are going to have a great time over the next two three years especially once interest rates start getting cut uh, this is going to help them a lot they're going to benefit greatly from that there's a couple of REITs out there that I think that are pretty great deals uh, that's for a future video but um, yeah I uh, AMT, it's the newest addition to the portfolio. Uh, I also threw a little bit of money into SGov just to have it sitting there. Things drop, I can move that money from that into other things. So a little bit of a short and sweet one for you today. I hope everyone is doing well. Again, hit the subscribe button if you're new and drop a like and comment down below. Let me know what REITs that you're buying or what you're looking at. I greatly appreciate it and I hope everyone takes care. See you.